Come on, come on. Ah, ah, come on. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, ho, ho. Twitched it two times in his face. Chomped it. All right, what is up, guys? So, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite peacock lures. This right here, the DOA Terrorize. This is the root beer color in quarter ounce. The gold color is really good too. I have that back in the truck, but these are real good lures right here. One of my favorites. Um, they work really good to get peacocks up off the drop off. Uh, they work real well, like when they're staging in a little bit deeper water, but they also hit shallow water too. They also work really well for peacocks on the bank. They also work really well for a uh, bedding piece. Uh, but remember if you're fishing for bedding peas, always leave one fish on the bed because we gotta leave them for future generations. When you catch both fish, both of them leave the bed and that leaves the bed open for predators like cichlids and snakehead and other little things to get at the fry and we want to make sure our peacock stock stays good for future generations so do your part make sure to leave one fish on the bed whenever you're bed fishing but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and product test it for you guys and we'll see how good it works all right i like a jerk jerk pause routine uh, you'd think they'd want it quicker but i've actually noticed that they do like a little bit of pause Oh, 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 there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Come on, come on. You want it, you want it. Oh, look at it, look at him, look at him going all the way to the bank for it. What a trooper. All right, we're gonna try a quicker retrieve. Maybe that does it, that did not do it. See what I mean? They like the pauses. Don't quite know why. I guess it just gives them a better opportunity to track the lure. Oh, oh, Snakehead came after it. Snakehead just came after it. Almost looked like a catfish. That was pretty sick. Wow, I've never seen a Snakehead come after the Terrorize. People say this lure is good for a whole bunch of stuff. People say I've never caught anything besides like peas and bass on it. But uh, a lot of people swear by this stuff for snook and for tarpon too look at this peacock coming right at me charging right at me bro oh, oh. On, 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 on. there we go there we go perfect eat exactly how I said it right on the drop-off Right before the thunderstorm too. Right on the drop off. Twitched it two times in his face. Chomped it. That's, that's getting tight. <laughs> there we go. Stud peacock on the terrorize. Oh, there's a fat largey just waiting. Goodbye friend. Come on, if a mine would go for it, you're a cichlid too, come on. Are you serious? Are you being serious right now? Well guys, we know they catch mines. Let's see if these peacock will put a herd in on this mine for being by the nest. These are spooky peacocks, bro. trying to go to these overfish spots so you guys can see the lure works not just in my little private ponds but peas are not in that aggressive of a mood today i just can't believe this mayan was so flared for it look at how pretty the colors are on this thing it is such a nice shade of blue i'm gonna release this bad boy back to where he came from i don't kill cichlids there's really no point, guys. I mean, you can give me the lecture all you want. There's literally no point. They're everywhere. Um, they're not everywhere because of people like me, but they're everywhere. So, if you want to kill fish for no reason, that's you, but I'm going to just chill with that. So, next spot. No? You guys don't want it? There's a baby bass here. Maybe they want the quick one. 
Not the quick one. Definitely do not want the quick one. Oh, they like that. Just jig. They like that up and down. Look at that. He came right up to it. No, mine came up to it. Oh, there's a nesting Mayan. Multiple. Look how flared these fish are for this lure, dude. Come on, come on. Ah, ah, come on. Eat it, eat it, eat it. They're so flared for it, guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at them. Clear water, clear water strike. Oh, ho, ho. That was sick, that was sick. Ah, uh, self-release. Look at this beauty. There he goes. Easy as that on the terrorize, guys. All right, guys, hope you all enjoyed that. Go ahead and give the video a like if you did. So the terrorize, I have them right here. Uh, my favorite is the root beer color. And I also really like this gold color. It's gold with a black back and a gold flake. Uh, we have a lot of success on these lures. They come with a nice little jig head right here. You get them in a eighth ounce, quarter ounce, or three eighths ounce. And we like the quarter ounce a lot for our freshwater applications. The three eighth ounce is good a lot for like spillway applications where you're dealing with a little bit more of moving water. The lure moves a lot like a crappy jig. If you guys have ever used that for bass or peas, it's a very similar action. It definitely works for peacocks, it works for bass, works for all our exotics down here. And yeah, hopefully you guys can get tight on it too. So go ahead and leave a comment with your favorite peacock lure. Let us know what you guys are using, what you're using now that it's all rainy and it's a little bit more cloudy. And we'll go ahead and let you guys know what else has been working for us. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, let us know. Hope you guys are staying safe. Get out there, go fishing, keep your distance, and get tight.